Welcome back to part two, Europe versus USA in the Golf Bidder Second Hand Club Challenge. Myself, Rick and Pete, we've just done four holes, go and check that out on the channel. The match so far is all square. Good match as well so far. We're both, both players under par. We now move on to the final five holes of this front nine before switching over to Pete's channel. Guys, if you've not seen Pete's channel before, go and check it out, hit that subscribe button as well. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, leave us a comment down below. Who do you think is going to win? the Europe versus USA match that's being carried out at the end of September. We'd love to hear your thoughts. The par four, slight dog leg, I'm going to take on a little bit of that dog leg. I think it's, from this tee, slightly further forward than the backs, so you could fly really straight over that bunker, really. Aggressive. It's a little too aggressive, I think. Fading off. Right, Pete with the Nike driver who's used by Rory McIlroy. If you've not seen part one, I'm representing Team Europe, even though a lot of my golf clubs in my bag are USA. <laughs> and Pete's representing USA, even though every Everything golf club. Is European. What can I say? I like the European style. <laughs> Come with me, that's gone further right. That's actually going to be that far right. I think that's going to be okay. So we have a real, a real match play situation now. So Rick is, Rick is either going to go for this or he's not. I'm a little bit further off to the right, but I'm going to be in a similar situation. This looks very creepy. I'm just trying to get a picture of you from behind the trees. I say it's really creepy. I'm like, I was just like trying to catch a glimpse of you through the trees. <laughs> Whoa. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we got arrested first time. Um, so I'm going to have to just chip out with a wedge, get it back on the fairway. Wise. I think that's a wise decision. Ouch. Mm. Boo. <laughs> Boo. So this is what I saw before Pete saw it. Here's his ball, further right off line, but absolutely dominated by trees. <laughs> so Pete's going to play safe through that little gap down there as well. Oh, simmer down. Now, if you've watched any of our vlogs, well, ever, um, pitching isn't a massive strong suit with either of us, really. We have been saying for probably four years that we need to spend more time working on it. <laughs> and, and this have, is the time right now. And have yet to find <laughs> sufficient adequate space. So, 86, are you going in with? I'm going to hit a log wedge, kind of 90, and hopefully just screw it back a bit. Well, looks pretty good for distance, I think. Oh. Okay, Pete, just left side. Um, yeah. Still on, just on the fairway? Just By a whisker. Just about, yeah. By I a whisker. All of it. How far have you got? Uh, I'm not sure actually, but it's about 10 yards further on. So you are playing 7, 74 to the front. 74. It's actually the same distance I had last, so I'm just going to take a little bit off this. Me and my 56. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing comes between us. So just pitching on the front. It's not going to spin loads, we know this. A little thin to win. So Rick's pulling back up the green here. It's um, a long pull. Yeah, it's about 30 feet or so. I've probably got about maybe 20, not not loads better. Uh, the only advantage is it is back up the slope. Just drifted slightly away. It's probably a gimme, but we'll see what my put does first. So Pete for birding to go one up in the match and he's got a little bit of protection that I'm kind of four or five feet away with after a really weak putt. Took a few bubbles that you didn't really want. Yeah I think they got a little bit unlucky with this green actually because this is one this is one that they relayed before the 
before the summer of 18 as it will be known so for the save and for the half on this hole keep the match all square whoa one. Yeah. That... <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the, the that's not the, that's not the putter to be hitting the back with. Oh, that was a nasty little putt. I thought I thought you put it well, mate. Just firm, mate. Just pace. Trying to go straight in the middle of the hole, very American style. But no, I should have softly, softly, gently, gently patted it in. Anyway, one down in the match after a, a strange hole. <laughs> Six hole, par four, 420 yards. It's a cracking hole back into breeze. Requires a draw that kind of goes through the shoot there and then bends round to the left. And if it can get a couple of big hops and skips, it significantly shortens the hole. Anything that gets caught up by the rough or trees plays ridiculously harder, as you'd imagine, because uh, you're playing the hole 20, 30 yards longer than what you wanted it to. So, with McElroy's Nike driver set up for a draw perfect list, does it? I need to feel his draw. I'm not okay. my strong suit, but obviously Rory's pretty good at it. Boom. Boom. Yeah, keep coming. She's going to be on the right side, but should be okay. Yeah, very good shot there, mate. I'm 140 away from the flag, pins just over that front little crevice. I'm going to hit a nice, I'm in between clubs a little bit, between eight and nine really here. You thinking hard nine? I think it's just a good solid nine for you. Yeah. Good solid nine. Thanks Caddy. It's all right. <laughs> well, don't, don't thank me just yet, but you can thank me or blame me. You can do whatever you want after this shot. Yeah, I think a good nine. She's going to carry it over the pin, just stop it behind. Yeah, that's good. Just needed that extra club. <laughs> oh, Ricky, when will you ever learn? Don't listen to me. <laughs> Why did I do that? I hit nine iron instead of eight listening to Pete and I've come up 12 yards short. Shock, shock. I'm liking these irons so far. They feel pretty good when I've hit them. Uh, how far have you got, Pete? Uh, 129. I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna go. I'm gonna go with my own breed on this. I one. think I need to start doing that a little bit. Um, in all fairness, I'm. I'm gonna hit an eight iron, a low draw. Yeah. Because I've got these trees anyway, so I'm gonna have to pitch this. <laughs> That's I'm gonna have to pitch this pretty much just in front of your ball. Hopefully, just skip it up a little bit. Just my ball at the front of the green. Well, it's a good marker, I think. <laughs> After it just ended up a bit short, so. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, it's painful. Yeah, really well played. So I, the reason I actually suggested nine for Rick is it just left him a bit more of an uphill putt. <laughs> so he's got to come up from the crest. It's my own fault for listening to you. Listen, I. I thought, I think it's a good club. If you'd have hit an eight, you'd have been middle and well past the green. And you'd have been, then you'd have been forever cursing the fact that you didn't hit your nine. I was in between clubs. Yeah. And I just made sure that you picked the right one for me. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up. Just not getting them to the hole, am I? Just, they're always just that tiny bit short, aren't they? The moment. Look. But, they look faster than what they are at the moment. Take it away, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the... Uh... I've just been a little bit shy with each one of them. I must admit, that put scared me. It's one of those ones where it's up the hill, but once it goes past the hole, it goes straight downhill. And... Yeah, if you'd, have, if you'd have blasted that over the slope. Pete has got this for birdie. And will it put him on a one-way trip to two up? Looks low, looks low. Yeah. Similar put to my concession, take that away. Two pars here on six, on to seven. Pete is one up in the match. Your putting setup looks very new. Very new, does it? 
I mean, yeah, um, we've been working on it really hard. Okay. <laughs> Just trying to get it a lot more, a lot more new. <laughs> so as we move on to the seventh hole here now in the match, the fairway is littered with bunkers, left and right, more left than there is right. <clears throat> is that a, whoa, what was that? I heard that, was that? Man down. That was interesting. <laughs> any, any doctors watching? If you could <laughs> tell me what that sound was. Hopefully it picked up. It sounded like a golf ball hitting wood. Oh, wow. Beware the injured golfer. Um, once you've... <laughs> Pre-shot routine. It's that new bloody putter set up. <laughs> Once you've hit a good drive, you only flick over the water into a very uh, th thin but wide green. Short but wide. I was gonna. I'd be surprised if you'd have hit a good one then. Okay. Didn't sound like your body fell apart there, Rick. I think this is going to be a good one for you. That, that sound was so weird. Oof. Very good. Very good. Beautiful drive, that. Keep coming. Yep. Absolutely awesome, that. Very good. Hey, best one at there. That's a cracker. That's a right beauty, that one. So as Pete rightly said, he uh, was wide enough to miss the bunkers here off the tee. You can see the bunkers just here. Which leaves himself a perfect view to the flag, which is, looks like it's at the back, so definitely no need to contend with the water. Go on then. Don't spin. Whoa, whoa! Shieldsy with the spin. That had a lot of sauce. That had a lot of Isn't action. It, why is it so satisfying? <laughs> I've, I've spun that 30 yards short of the pin. And absolutely yeah, it worth great. it. It was absolutely <laughs> worth it. So Rick has literally ripped it back. Ridiculous. A I was going to say literally ripped it back about 15 yards sir. Yeah, that's a, not ideal. It's a lot, that's a lot of backspin there. It did pitch into a very slight upslope. That's coming up. Line looks good. Oh, it's just going to drift left. Very, very good for pace there though, bud. It's not getting used to it. I, I feel like the head's just a bit lighter than what I'm used to. So it's a bit... You need to give it a bit more impetus. Yeah, is that good? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Here they've had a slight read off my putt that I've just hit, so you'll probably know that's what it's going to do a little bit. But this is a, a big putt. Can you go two up with two holes left to play on the front line? Looks a bit short. Take it away. You give me the line there as well. Yeah, you just didn't quite catch it, did you? It didn't seem like as good of a hit. Right, all square on the hole. <laughs> Pete is still one up as we go into the par three, eighth hole. Eighth hole in this match, USA is one up. 160 yards to the flag, it's a great hole this. Just over a little bit of water to contend with, but that really shouldn't come into uh, play. Pin is towards the back of this green. Pete's gonna go with a seven iron. I've got a seven, I'm not, I'm just not striking it that well. So I think this should leave me pin high or slightly short if I'm, if I'm a little bit thin again, but. It's just nice, it's a nice feeling to be thin, to be honest with you. <laughs> I've, never, I've never had the pleasure. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I was gonna hold this into the breeze a little bit, so I'm just gonna try and draw it back a touch. Oh, Peter. I drew it back. Or it bounced. Oh, be on it. Yeah, 
Yeah, mate, you're hitting these irons really well. You already birdied. Oh, whoa, 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 wow, all right, wow. It didn't kind of fit, did it? Oh, I'm, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I haven't hit it as well. I do like it. Sorry, I got a bit Patrick Reed on myself there. <laughs> I think a, a solid eight iron off the tee should have been the choice that Pete would have gone for there. So lots of loft, opening the head, keeping the loft on the face. Beautifully played. Yeah, couldn't have done much more in fairness because it was uh, it was everything was running away. Right, come on. You feeling this? It's a more pleasing to the eye put. Slightly uphill right to left. It's kind of fancy I'm fancying you for this one. It's going down the slope. Go, go! Again. Just a bit a little bit softy softy. Great line again. Take it away, man. Take it away, take it away. Pete's got this for the half after an actually well played bunker shot. He couldn't have done a lot more from where he was. This would keep his momentum going into the final hole in this match on the front nine. Then we hit the back nine on Pete's channel. Stayed high. Stayed high. Match back to all square. Ninth hole coming up, par five. Ninth hole here, par five. Little bit of wind help, and the sun is coming out, so really this could be a this could be a bit of a birdie fest. Lovely, but this is going to be the hole that lights the touch paper. This is the one where the birdies and eagles are going to start to flow. Yeah, I like that. I like this driver. I think I've ever used. I don't think I've ever used this one. G20, G20s. I do like this. That is boomed. Yeah, boomed. Good drive, sir. Very good drive indeed. Two good hits. Okay, so Pete has absolutely dissected the fairway with his tee shot. Strong words, I like <laughs> um, I've caught the left side of the fairway, but actually a sneaky little bit longer, which I didn't expect. Yeah, I think it was just a bit higher toe, wasn't it? Well, Real classic. Ish, I'd say, I'd say pretty middle. Uh, <laughs> so we've got less than, we've got, we must have hit them both over 300 yards because we're only hitting 185 and 190 left into the flag here. Flag looks like it's back right. Um, it's actually a really funky little pin spot there if you can just make it out. Gone left on Peter Finch. Uh, so just a little bit closer. Um, six. Seven. Seven. Damn. I don't even think it's a massive one of those. I feel like it, where the tree is, where that kind of trunk you can actually see, at that is like perfect. Cool. A little bit clean but perfect line, I think. That's good. Looks really good, that. <laughs> that's good. Okay, well, this is a turn up for the books. I've got to tell you. That's Pete over there. He is left of the trees, left of the green. And I've got that put for eagle. is a pretty spectacular effort. Wow, good job Pete. Thank you. That's what the Ryder Cups are about. Drama. True, dramas. Dramas, dramas. And there's one big drama which is playing out at this instant in time. And that is Rick Shields putting for an eagle and not only putting for an eagle, I would actually say a very good chance at an eagle as well. This is going up the slope it should move slightly to the left if anything oh oh well okay so 
pace not quite on to just say, yet. Don't leave an eagle foot short. <laughs> yeah, when you actually, guys, if if you've actually created a golf YouTube channel, you will know this. But you actually get a letter sent through, and the rules are you cannot leave an eagle put short. If Rick wow. had left that short, he actually would have got a strike against his channel. <laughs> wow. So. I actually thought it was a really good putt as well. I was like, eyeing it up. I mean, I got the zoom on, it lipped out. I think actually, that was a good pace. It was just that extra lip just gave it that little bit more. So now for Birdie, the drama. You're neck and neck now. Well, I'm a little bit closer. The things I was saying to you off, saying about you off camera. <laughs> I pretty much got this hole. <laughs> Two foot. <laughs> wow. I kind of, it looked like it wanted to go. <laughs> it looked like it wanted to miss. <laughs> Pete for birdie and to finish this nine hole all square as we move on to Pete's channel for the back nine. Guys, if you do enjoy this video so far, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to both of us. It's been an epic duel so far. Can Pete keep the drama high going into the back nine on this channel? Wow, we, wow, we, is that not one of the biggest lippings you've that, ever seen? That is why pace is more important than life. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to Golf Bidder for setting up the challenge. Uh, awesome website. You should get over there and check out some second hand golf clubs. US versus Europe continues on the back nine where the match is all square and one hell of a duel so far. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. And uh, we'll see you over on Peach Channel very soon. Absolutely. And guys, thank you and Mir as well for letting us come down. It is gorgeous. The course is in really, really, really good condition. Can't wait to get into this back now. Let's do it, Europe. <laughs>